I'm going to show you how to create, edit, and delete boundaries in Operations Center. So to get started, there's several ways to get into the LAN tool where we do all of our creating and editing. Uh, if you see your field on the map here, you can just click on it and click on the small marker button right here and that's going to take us to LAN Manager or now called the LAN tool. Otherwise, you can come over and go to Setup and LAN or you can pop out your fields tab here, type in the field that you're wanting to edit, select it, and hit details. We get a land manager button here, or there's one in the drop down up top. So if we go to land manager, it's going to load up all the information that we have for this field that we selected on the first page. If we just went to set up and land, we would go ahead and filter out over here uh, to find the field that we're looking for. It just kind of breaks down this list so it's a little bit more simple. So we can see the existing boundaries for this field right now. If we know that we want to come in and create a new boundary from previous operation data, we come up to create new or we can select create new right here to specifically make it for this field. We'll go ahead and make a boundary and we'll use previous operation data. It's going to assign it to the test plot field and next. We'll go ahead and name our boundary and then we can choose whichever operation we want to use. So a lot of times it's good to use seeding operations since those are the most accurate uh, for where the crops actually are. So it gives us our total area and a preview of what that boundary looks like. We can save that and now we've created a new boundary. If we just want to see that particular boundary, we can pop out our list here and turn off our other boundaries. And then if we want to go ahead and edit this a little bit, maybe we'll want to get rid of this portion right here. We can go over to edit and our drawing tools pop up for us. So we need to select a shape to edit. We'll select this shape we zoom in just a little bit, we can move any of these if we just want to edit the way that that particular portion of the boundary works. Otherwise, if we do just want to get rid of this little portion of the boundary, we can do select points, draw around those points, and then we can delete them from right here. So we zoom out and now we've got a smooth boundary up at the top. We can also rename our boundary and choose whether it's the active boundary or if it's just one of the boundaries that's saved for this field. So we'll keep this one as the active boundary for now. We can also toggle between an interior and an exterior boundary. So we'll go ahead and save that. And it saved uh, the changes to our boundary. So we can also do the same for previous boundaries. So if we want to come in here and edit one of the previous boundaries, you can do that as well. So same thing, edit, select the shape that you want to edit, and you can toggle these around. If you need to clean up your list here and get rid of um, one of these current boundaries, you can select it and choose archive right here, or you can archive it by using this button um, that pops up just to the right. It's going to go ahead and archive that boundary. If you archive something that uh, you maybe didn't mean to, you can toggle over between available and archived. And it'll load up anything that's been archived for that. And we can select it and make available here or use this button to make it available again. Just toggle back over and now it's back in our list here. Um, if we have something like this where we've got a couple of boundaries and we want to merge those two. This button right here will allow you to merge. So maybe you've got a couple fields next to each other that are now one. You can merge your boundaries from there. Or you can copy it if you want to create another boundary but maybe just change the outside border a little bit. Create a copy and then you can go ahead and edit that second one that you've created.
So that is creating, editing, and deleting boundaries in the Operations Center land tool. Thanks for watching.